Ladies and gentlemen, I am back from YouTube hiatus. I apologize for being gone for so long. I've been busy, I've been very busy. Today, I wanna to give you guys a different style of video. I'm gonna share with you my new RV. Maybe a completely random video for the channel, but guess what? I'm not trying to focus so much on the algorithm and following just stock videos anymore. I'm just gonna start posting, you know, really whatever I want. I'm gonna start posting traveling videos. I love anything outdoors. I love finance, I love investing. I love it all. So I'm just gonna kinda do that, you know, on the channel. So hopefully you guys like that authenticity and uh, let's get right into it. So this is a pretty rare RV behind me. R not rare in the sense that it's super valuable, but rare and I doubt you'll probably see another one on the road. Um, this is a 91 Gulfstream, a 1991 Gulfstream. So definitely not saying it's the nicest, but for the price, for the fun, man, it's been worth it, worth it, worth it. Now, again, you guys are probably saying, well, Trevor, you haven't had time to post on YouTube. How the heck do you have time to take this out? And the truth is I don't. I've only taken it out one time and I got this uh, RV back in January. So that just goes to show you, you know, where my time's at these days, but you know, as soon as I graduate school, as soon as a couple other things fill, finish up, I will have more free time and I'll start making more videos, start having more fun in this thing. But enough said guys, I wanna start taking you on the tour of the inside because nobody really cares about the outside. Let's just be honest, you know, it looks cool, but let's, let's focus on the inside. Like I said, guys, it's been a very long time since I've made a YouTube video. So if you could like, subscribe, anything like that, it would really help out the channel. And for my existing viewers, my existing subscribers, and also my new ones, I am taking this channel in a different direction, just so you guys know. I ain't, like I said at the beginning of the video, right? I'm gonna start talking more about you know all the things I do related to the outdoors. I'm gonna talk finance, investing. I'm gonna talk, uh, what else? A anything that I really feel like talking about, right? So if you're interested in that, please check out my other videos. Please check out my channel. I would love for you guys to be a part of it. Let's get inside the RV. All right, so like I said, guys, this is a 1991 Gulfstream. It's been completely remodeled. So I'm just gonna do a quick, walk it through here if you guys have any questions in the comments please let me know this is my first time kind of filming a review video here so i apologize if it's not good quality all right so let's start where we're at right now so up here this is the map of everywhere that i'll be going hopefully in the near future map of the united states it's basically a little scratch off so once you you know hit that destination you get to scratch it off got some key hangers coat hangers here we got the pantry here um faucet that was leaking when I first got it. Now I fixed everything. Uh, man, RVs are a project. So if you're thinking about getting one, make sure you have a little bit of extra money after you buy it. Cause man, these things cost a lot of money. I'll make a complete video on that separately. Nice little calendar area. I mean, again, this is completely remodeled. So, you know, again, 1991 coach. So obviously this was not there when, uh, you know, <laughs> it's not original, right? Not a whole lot going on in the cupboards. I mean, we have a lot of space. Uh, it's not the cleanest at the moment. There's just a bunch of kind of stuff there. Uh, we got some hooks to make sure things don't swivel out when you're when you're driving, which is super cool. Extra pantry space. Um, we got the fridge, my favorite part. So a bunch of waters in here. Nothing in the freezer, but you can see obviously this has this is you know new, right? This isn't since 1991 either. Um, over here, Tiki Toss leaderboard. Anybody that comes and visits me, travels with me, whatever they want to do, we got a Tiki Toss leaderboard. Now, what exactly this is is if you guys ever seen this ring and hook game, basically what you do is you attach this string, right? And then I kind of hook it up to here, the top of the ceiling, and you just toss it. You just basically try and toss it and try and hit it up onto the hook which it's more fun than it sounds, I promise. Like you gotta come out and try it. All right, don't knock it before you try it, it's fun. All right, cool little Idaho poster. For those of you guys that don't know, I spend about 80% of my time now in Idaho, uh, about 20% of my time in California. I'm really loving it out here. A lot of fishing, a lot of outdoor activities, which is what I absolutely love to do. Shower, all right, very small shower here. Currently, um, it's been occupied by a uh, piece of wood. <laughs> this is also a storage area. But uh, yeah, I'm six feet and I could fit in there, but yeah, it's, it's a tight it's a tight fit. Um, bedroom area, so let me get a full shot of that. So surprisingly big bed area, I believe this is a queen bed, I'm not 100% sure. What up, what up? Good amount of storage in here. I don't have that many shoes, um, but <laughs> that's a place you can put all the shoes. You know, extra stuff, extra stuff. A couple other cabinets up there. 
little area for some, uh, you know, hanging up some clothes and whatnot. Got to pay respect to my band. If you guys have not followed my band, um, A Suffocating Lie, definitely go check it out. We're a metalcore band and we play music. So definitely go check that out. Um, other than that, moving over here to the bathroom. Not a big bathroom area. Um, not really much going on here. Uh, but, you know, we do have a bathroom area. We got a nice little mirror. What up, what up? And uh, yeah, that's the bathroom. Nothing too crazy there. This is a look from the bedroom into the actual RV. So as you can see from here, this shot probably looks pretty good where you can see a ton. You know, there's this is about 30 feet long. Um, so there's a ton of room. I think it sleeps up to like six. I'm sure we can probably get a little bit more than that if we really wanted to, but um, it does sleep a lot. Um, now, going over here, this is gonna be my office area, my desk. Um, so basically, as you guys know, I work a lot. I pretty much do YouTube for fun at this point. Um, so whenever I am traveling, which again is extremely rare, but I, I plan on traveling a lot this summer, this is gonna be my desk area. So you can see here in the corner. Um, actually, let me uh, real quick, let me uh, close the door so there can actually be better lightning in here, hold on. All right, I'm not sure that's much better to be honest, but yeah, so I, what I was saying was this is my desk area. So, you know, I got um, you know, all my calendars, my notebooks, the chair, all the good stuff. We got a little beanbag thing down here below for extra seating if we need it. Um, little drawer for sunscreen and whatever else we need there. Um, more drawers of just stuff at the moment. We got duct tape, which is essential everywhere I go. We got football, we got uh, Frisbee, and we got something that's broken up there. And we got some hand warmers back there. Man, I think we have like eight packs of hand warmers because out here in Idaho, when I got the RV, it was really cold. So uh, when, anytime we came in here, we needed the hand warmers. Moving over here to the uh, couch. This is pretty cool because it actually folds out to be in a bed too. So, um, you know, I just basically put that seat down. It folds out to be in a complete bed and it's uh, super comfy, super easy to use and uh, definitely like complements the space nice. I'm no interior designer here, but being able to have my couch, you know, slash uh, bed there and have my office right there, good use of space for sure. Now going up here to the, uh, you know, the bed above the cab here, basically not much going on at the moment here. This is more of a storage area. Um, you know, I don't bring a lot of people on when I travel, so I don't need a ton of people to, you know, to a ton of areas for sleeping, but it is here. Uh, right now we have, I have a crossbow, so when we want to go shooting, you know, at the campsite, whatever, outside of the campsite, I'm able to use that there. Extra tools if we need it. My camera bag, see how I just kind of throw stuff up there. Uh, no rhyme or reason. We have some extra stuff over here, which is basically uh, just shades to cover all the windows at night for privacy or to keep the sunlight out. And down here we got the cockpit. So this one's super cool for me. You know, I just turned 23 years old. I'm not uh, super knowledgeable on cars, but these little window things, we actually have to like crank it to like, uh, you know, <laughs> roll down the window. Man, I love it. It's super cool. So um, that's the cockpit. Not much going on in there. Again, very old seating. Uh, it's 1991, so it's pretty old. Uh, you got a little bit of storage here, not much going on. Um, it does have a really nice uh, air conditioning actually. It's more powerful than my 2018 Civic, which is really surprising. So I'll, I'll definitely take that. Um, yeah, not much going on in the cockpit here. Pretty simple, pretty easy to understand. Um, so that's pretty much it guys. Uh, this is overall the complete RV. Um, to give you one more shot here so again a lot of room about 30 feet long 1991 Gulfstream, super super cool i uh, definitely look forward to having more fun with it later on but for right now trying to keep everything nice and simple i uh, don't really want a ton of things in here but definitely want to make it more of my style uh, i guess the last thing i'll show you up here uh, kenny chesney my all-time favorite musician a uh, big influence on my lifestyle my life so definitely want to have a uh, little respect to him here and this is the first place I went camping with or at, and uh, it's called Bruno State Park in Idaho. So that's gonna be my go-to spot every now and then and whenever I can get out and, and go camping real quick. So um, yeah, guys, that is, I'm gonna plan on putting all my you know postcards here to where I can actually you know uh, keep track of everywhere that I'm going. And yeah, I mean, this is just kind of like a weekend getaway thing at the moment. I'm not doing full time, nothing like that. But uh, that's the RV at the moment, guys. Now let's show you the outside. All right, so to be completely honest with you guys, I don't know much about RVs, uh, but this is the outside 
of the RV. Uh, definitely old. Uh, I don't plan on adding any new paints. I don't plan on adding anything to the exterior of the RV just because, you know, RVs cost enough money as they are. Um, I'm just going to do a quick walk around video for you guys so you can check it out. Definitely needs a, uh, definitely needs a bath here, but I'll get to that later. All right, just continue walking around. So funny story real quick on this. Um, it, it's basically the same stuff, right? So the outside's the exact same. It's got, you know, storage bins at the, at the bottom. I'm not going to pull those out. It's basically just chairs, uh, crossbows and uh, anything else that I need in the RV. Uh, funny story about this real quick. I was pulling out of the RV storage unit and the gate didn't open up enough and I wasn't smart enough to figure out a different way to go through it. So when I was pulling out of the gate, it actually ripped off the gas can uh, cover. So now it looks real weird and I gotta figure out how to fix that. But other than that, you know, um, obviously these stripes have faded since uh, what, 1991 to 2021. So, you know, 20 years, right? It's, it's been a long time, so, uh, you know, I can't blame the, uh, the RV for showing a little bit of age here. Uh, but yeah, that's the front of the coach there, and um, that's pretty much it. I, um, some people go to the top of the RV, not much to see there. Um, again, I don't really know what I'm talking about, so just want to make this quick video for you guys. You know, a lot of people have been asking me that know I have one, um, you know, kind of what it looks like. Um, and then now I'm going to get into why I decided to get it and do a brief talk about that and let's get into that okay so why did i purchase the rv first of all i really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video i know it's a very different style of video from what i've done the previous on my channel so really appreciate your uh, interest in my video here and if you're new here please consider subscribing i'm going to talk about a bunch of different stuff on the channel so why i purchased the rv well when you know, we shut down in March of 2020 and, you know, everything I was doing and a lot of people, everything they were doing was online solely, right? I'm sure you can agree that a lot of us got tired of staying at home all day, every day. Um, there were some pros to that and there was also some cons to that, right? And what I figured out what I was like, man, if I could just work online 100% of the time, just work online, everything I do, you know, all the time is online. Why wouldn't I travel? I was like, well, I can't really travel because there's some restrictions with flying. There's some restrictions with, you know, how much I can go do. And I started thinking, well, what if I just traveled in an RV? You know, what if I got some friends, my girlfriend, my family, whatever, and we just went out and we did camping and, you know, we shut off the phones, we shut off, you know, a bunch of electronics. We were just going out and we went camping somewhere, right? And that really got me thinking and started looking for opportunities to, you know, work from remotely, essentially. And I started a YouTube channel in January of 2020, and I kind of thought about this, but obviously this was before we shut down. I thought about you know wanting to travel a little bit more than I currently was. And so I started the YouTube channel, I met a bunch of people. Long story short, I have a couple businesses now that I operate. I work with a couple other businesses online 100%, helping them out with different things, right? And that put me in a position to actually be able to purchase the RV and actually start to be, you know, plan on doing all these different things. Now, keep in mind, I said at the beginning of the video, right? I haven't had time to really travel at all. I've stayed at like two campgrounds so far, you know, as opposed to bringing the, uh, the RV to California, from California to Idaho. I haven't done much traveling. So I've been sol solely focused on my businesses and, you know, fo focused on my clients, right? So again, I'm hoping to get more time here in the summer to actually start traveling. And I want to give a quick shout out to my boy, Austin. Okay. Austin was the one that hooked me up with this RV. Basically I met Austin through a coaching program through Brian Casella's modern success. It's been a game changer for me, you know, regardless if you're in real estate or not, definitely go check that out. That's for a completely other video, but basically he was an accountability partner of mine for a couple months uh, through that program. We got to talking, he's, you know, selling and flipping cars. He's getting into real estate. He's doing all these things. And I saw that he posted this RV that he was going to be flipping. I hit him up immediately. I said, Hey man, you know, let's talk. And you know, we talked numbers, we figured out what we can do. And I flew down to San Diego that weekend, purchased the RV. And you know, that's about as spontaneous of a decision that you can get. Um, now you guys know me that follow the channel, you know, I'm very uh, strict with money. You know, I'm very smart with money. I invest pretty much all my money. I, I, I work a lot with money, right? That's what I do on a daily basis. Um, so you guys are probably interested in the numbers, how much this RV costs, you know, all that good stuff. That's for a completely separate video to be completely honest with you. So if you guys are interested in me running down the breakdown of the, you know, the cost of the owning the RV, the maintenance, you know, the storage fees, you know, I know I was curious too. Uh, remember I got the RV in January, it's May right now. So, you know, it hasn't been a ton of time, uh, but I would love to make a video for you guys. If you guys think that would be of interest to you. 
But uh, yeah, let me know. But I want to give a huge shout out to Austin because I love this thing. It's been amazing so far. Been enjoying it every time I come in here. Definitely is a lot of work. There's a lot of things, a lot of money I had to put into it so far. So uh, let me know if you guys want to see any more of this content. You know, I'm going to start doing more traveling. If you want me to start making more videos here, uh, you want me to make some breakdown cost of the RV and you want me to continue to st you know, stick to the personal finance, the investing, you want me to blend it all, let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear from you as always. If you have any questions specifically about this RV, let me know. It's not for sale, but I would love to learn. Again, I'm very new to RVs, so maybe you can educate me on some things there. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you on the next video.